Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? Uh, if we have a 9 to the power of 9 minus 8 to the power of 8 and we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. This means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to write the basis of both of these two terms into the prime factors form. So the prime factors of 9 are 3 square and its whole power is 9 minus uh, the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole power is 8. And now here we need to use the nice exponential law. You know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So according to this exponent law, we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 becomes 18 minus this is 3 multiplied by 8 becomes here 24. So here uh, we again rewrite this equation as this is 3 to the power of 18 and we write it as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 minus this is uh, 2 to the power of 24 and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 12. And here again we use this exponent law from right hand side to the left hand side so that uh, now we rewrite these terms as here we move this 3 to the power of 9 inside the term and from here we move 12 inside the term. So it will be written as 3 to the power of 9 whole square minus this will be written as 2 to the power of 12 whole square. And in the next step here we need uh, the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a, a, a square and minus b square is equal to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this, uh, this formula, we write here our above expression as in this form. Uh, so that here uh, first we have 3 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 12 into 3 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 12. So here our next target is to find the values of 3 to the power of 9 and 2 to the power of 12. So here first we find the value of 2 to the power of 12. So here in order to find the value of 2 to the power of 12. So here we break uh, its exponent 12 as we write this 12 as 2 to the power of 10 plus 2. And further we again uh, use here the nice exponential law and we write these terms as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by uh, 2 square and here you know about that uh, because calculator is not allowed say here uh, I hope so this type of uh, simplest calculation you can do in your mind or uh, in your paper so here we know about that 2 to the power of 10 is equals to 1024 and we know that uh, 2 square is equal to uh, ten, uh, 2 square becomes here 4 so further in the next step we need to multiply 1024 with this 4 and it will be written as 4 4 is a 16 we write 6 and carry 1 so this 4 2 is a 8 8 plus 1 is 9 4 0 is a 0 and 4 1 is a 4 so it means that the value of 2 to the power of 12 is equals to 4096. So here first uh, we find uh, the value of this term and now here we need to find the value of 3 to the power of 9. Uh, so uh, you know about that 3 to the power of 9. The meaning of 3 to the power of 9 is that we multiply uh, 3 with 9 times in this form. Okay. Uh, so uh, here we just write uh, this uh, we multiply 3 with 9 times. You see here, uh, these are the four threes, these are the four threes and this is one. So this total becomes here uh, nine, okay? So here uh, you know about that, the value of uh, uh, three to the power of four equals to, this is three times three becomes nine, nine threes are 27, 27. Here I can just write um, three times three becomes nine, 
9 times 3 becomes 27 27 times 3 becomes 81 and 81 times 3 is equals to this is 3 1 is 3 and 3 8 is 24 so these are the product of 3 to the power of 5 and here we know that when we multiply 3 with 4 times it is equal to 81 so these are the 3 with 4 times becomes here 81 so we, we need to multiply uh, these two bigger numbers without using the calculator so that here we need to break uh, this 81 as into the hundreds and uh, ones form so it will be written as 243 into we write this 81 as 80 plus 1 so now we multiply this value separately on both of these two values it will be written as 243 is multiplied by 80 plus 243 multiplied by 1 is equals to 243 so here we consider this is one digit number this is our two digit number and we multiply zero with this value we get zero and eight times of this number equals to eight three is a 24 we write four and carry two eight fours are 32 32 plus two becomes 34 we write four and carry three eight to the 16 16 plus three becomes here 19 so this means that the value of three to the power of nine is equals to one nine uh, is equals to so this is 19440 but here we need to sum up this value it is 243 so first here we need to add both of these values and we get here the value of 3 to the power of 9 now so here we have this is 0 plus 3 becomes here 3 and this 4 plus 4 becomes 8 this 4 plus 2 becomes 6 and this is over 9 and 1 so this is the value of 3 to the power of 9. So here we need to move backward and we substitute uh, this value of 3 to the power of 9 and this value 2 to the power of 12 uh, into uh, this expression. Okay, so that here our this expression is uh, copied down uh, below here. So it will be written as uh, so we write here uh, 9 to the power of 9 minus 8 to the power of 8 is equals to uh, first you have 3 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 12 into 3 to the power of 9 plus 2 to the power of 12. So here we have a little mistake and the, the one factor is positive. So we write here this factor is positive. Uh, so here uh, we need to substitute both of these values here and it will be written as the value of 3 to the power of 9 is 19683 and the value of 2 to the power of 12 is uh, 4096 similarly we substitute here it will become 19683 plus 4096 so here we need to add or subtract these values and here uh, uh, I can just uh, do some uh, this uh, some uh, subtractions directly. You, you know about that. This is the uh, simple traditional way of subtraction of numbers. I hope so. All of the students are do this step. So here I can just uh, write the answer of this problem, and it is now uh, one double five and eight seven, and it is multiplied by here. We need to sum up both of these two values. It is one nine six eight and plus 4096 so this this is the also traditional way of addition so that you can easily sum up these values and it will become here 23779 so here these are the bigger numbers so we first divide this into the simplified form and it will be written as 15587 into we break this value as this is 2000 zero, 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 and we have this is 3000 plus 700 and plus 70 plus 9 so we divide this this term into the uh, hundred thousands form so now here we need to multiply these values easily so that when we multiply this number with this you get here these this is one digit number this is our four digit number so when we multiply all these four digits here it will becomes here these four digits so we multiply two with this number you get here two sevens of 14 we write four and carry one two eight is a 16 16 plus one is 17 we write seven and carry one two five is a 10 10 plus one is 11 we write one and carry one 
2 5 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, we write 1 and carry 1, 2 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 becomes here 3. Plus in the same pattern we multiply this value with this number you get here. This is 0, 0, 0 and 0 and we multiply 3 with this number you get here. 3, 7 is 21, we write 1 and we carry 2 and this is 2, 8 is 3, 8 is 24, 24 plus 2 becomes 26, we write 6 and again carry 2. So, 3 fives are uh, 15, 15 plus 2 is 17, we write 7 and carry 1, 3 fives are 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, we write 6 and carry 1, 3 ones are 3, 3 plus 1 becomes 4. And plus here in the same pattern, we multiply this 700 with this value and it will be written as, uh, this is 0 and 0, we multiply 7 with this number and it will become here 7, 7 is a 49, we write 9 and carry 4 and 7, 8 is a 56, 56 plus 4 uh, becomes here 60, we write uh, 0 and carry 6, so uh, this, uh, this 7 times 5 becomes 35, 35 plus 6 becomes uh, 31, 41, we write here 1 and carry 4. So again we have 7 5 is 35. 35 plus 4 become 39. We write 9 and carry 3. 7 1 is 7. 7 plus 3 becomes 10. And here in the same pattern uh, we uh, just multiply our number 1 double 5 uh, uh, 8 1 double 5 8 7 is multiplied by 70. Uh, so when you multiply this number with 70 it will be written as 1 0 9 1 0 9 and 0 so this will become say 1 0 so plus in the same pattern we multiply this number with this 9 and when we multiply here 1 double 5 8 7 is multiplied by 9 it will be written as 1 4 0 2 8 3 so here in the final step we need to sum up all of these values uh, and you get here our final answer so now here in order to sum up these values it will be written as this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 becomes 3 this 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 becomes 9 9 plus 8 becomes 17 we write 7 and carry 1 so this 0 plus 0 plus 9 becomes 9, 9 plus 0 becomes 9, 9 plus 2 becomes 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, we write 2 and carry 1. So this is 0 plus 1 is 1 uh, and 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 1 becomes 3. So we have 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, 11 plus 9 becomes 20, 20 plus 4 becomes 24, we write 4 and carry 2. So this is 7 plus 7 becomes 14, 14 plus 9 uh, becomes here 23, 14 plus 9 becomes 23, 23 plus 0 is 23, 23 plus 1 is 24, 24 plus 2 becomes 26, we write 6 and carry 2. So we have this is 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8 and 8 plus uh, 2 becomes here 10. So we write here 1, we write 0 and carry 1. So this is 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, uh, 6 plus 1 is 7. So we write here 7 and at the last we will get here this is 3 only. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.